Let me start by saying what I know that Give Abundantly is not. And that's not God being a slot machine. You can't give so that he will just will just overflow you with finances and whatever. That's not how it works. God doesn't need our money, but he wants our obedience. And that's what giving abundantly is, is giving out of the love that you have and letting that flow out. And that's the obedience to God. 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, You must each decide in your heart how much to give. And don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure. For God loves a person who gives cheerfully. God expects us to give and give joyfully. The thing that comes to mind is usually money. But I really feel that when Jesus was teaching on giving, it was more of a giving of time and of ourselves and reaching out to those who need it. It's also giving of your time and your talents, um, using them in the way that that best benefits not just the church but the community and everyone as a whole. Things at our disposal um, that can enrich our community, our church, here, our congregation, and the whole world around us. And I just really feel like um, learning to be generous with those things, learning to give what God has blessed us with in all those areas um, will just naturally lead us to be giving cheerfully as the Lord has called us to do. It is an act of worship and it directly reflects God's attributes because he was a giver for God gave. It says, in everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak. Remembering the words of the, of the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When you're giving, it is a direct reflection of your spiritual walk.